With the recognition that the Bible wasn't handed down as a complete book with God as its author, but is in fact the collection of writings of many authors over many centuries, uh, biblical authority began to be undermined. It also was undermined by scientific evidence. And that authority of the Bible, as scholars beginning in the 18th century, 17th and 18th centuries, was even more eroded in the sen in, with the recognition that the Bible isn't consistent because it has many different authors. They're saying different things. They don't always agree with each other. So does the Bible have any authority? What is the role of the Bible in the life of a scholar, in the life of a community? And I'm not sure that that issue has been completely resolved. I think there is sometimes a kind of intellectual schizophrenia among scholars. Most biblical scholars until the present were drawn to the study of the Bible for what I would call essentially pious reasons, because they, the Bible was something special to them. But the more you recognize that the Bible is not just the word of God in some simple sense, and that the Bible is not unique because the more we learn about the ancient Near East, the more we find out that the biblical writers shared all sorts of understandings of their world and the world of the divine with their contemporaries. It's hard to maintain a balance between still cherishing the Bible as somehow an inspirational text and recognizing it very much as a human product.